They came riding in full steam, promising to bring thousands of jobs back to the auto plant General Motors had just abandoned. And now Lordstown Motors may be running out of steam to keep that promise. Shares of Lordstown Motors stock ended the day up one cent. That comes a day after the company announced that as of now, it doesn't have enough cash to start production of its electric pickup this fall. And News 5's John Kozak takes an in-depth look now at why the company says there's also concern about its ability to still be in business one year from now. Yeah, a year ago today, the future of this plant was as big and bold as a sign that greets motorists off Interstate 80. Today, by the company's own admission, it's a future that is very much in doubt. The storm clouds hanging over the Lordstown Motors plant this day are symbolic of the manufacturer's economic outlook. Monday, the company said it did not have enough cash to start commercial production this fall of the all-electric pickup endurance. Adding these conditions raise substantial doubt regarding our ability to continue as a going concern for a period of at least one year. While the company reported having $587 million at the end of March, industry analysts estimate they need to raise two and a quarter billion dollars more. It's not a good sign when you need to raise that much if you're not Elon Musk. So, it was a year ago this month the Endurance made its debut with Vice President Mike Pence riding shotgun. Pence telling me at the time this was just the start of good things for Lordstown. Today's announcement with Lordstown Motors is a new beginning for new jobs. This beautiful new truck will be constructed right here in this community. There was talk that day of one day hiring 5,000 workers. The SEC would begin investigating the company in March for allegedly misleading investors on the number of pre-orders they had received. The mayor at the time telling us he wasn't concerned as the city was already turning to other businesses coming into the village for future growth. I won't see our future relies on Lordstown Motors. Three months later? Uh, not surprised, not surprised at all. Um, it has been a continuing saga with Lordstown Motors. Among those who spent their career at the plant under GM, this latest news is not a shock. When they were talking last year about, you know, big plans and hiring 5,000 and you're smiling. Yeah. We didn't expect that from them. We just did not see the, the finances there to do that sort of a thing. Now, a spokesperson for Lordstown tells me they have the adequate capital to continue operations, meet supplier obligations, and begin limited production as they look for new investors. In Lordstown, John Kasich, News 5. Okay, for more context here, those other businesses Lordstown's mayor mentioned are moving forward. One is that electric vehicle battery factory General Motors is building with LG Energy right near the Lordstown Motors plant GM used to own. GM plans to hire more than 1,000 workers. It's expected to start operating next year. Then there are the hundreds of jobs added by the new distribution centers, including TJX Home Goods right across the highway from Lordstown Motors, which opened at limited capacity earlier this year. 